there, tech fans. Rick here again with another review. And today, I have a brand new portable power station from our friends over at WattFun that packs a ton of energy into a tiny little product and still provides every possible connection you'll need to charge all of your modern portable gear. Now, I spend a lot of time around new technology, and I'm always looking for something that's advanced, something that's a little bit different than the status quo. And lately, I've spent a lot of time around portable power stations because I also spend a lot of time out in the field, and I bring a lot of technical gear along. I've got cameras and phones and tablets and drones and you name it. If I can plug it in or it runs on a battery, it's probably in my bag. And the challenge is, the longer I spend out in the field, the more important it is to keep that equipment charged. So I'm always bringing some type of portable power station along with me. So again, I'm always on the hunt for something that has advanced functionality, tends to be smaller, reasonably priced, but really has every possible connection I can need out there in the field to charge all those devices. And what WattFun has done here is built in the right capacity, I think for a day or so out in the field, to be able to charge those devices. It's small enough to bring along, it's nine pounds. It's got plenty of ports on the front of the unit where you can plug in pretty much anything you're gonna bring along for a day of fun. And really, I just like the unit an awful lot based on its portability and its capacity. Now, I'm gonna spend some time doing an overview of this in a second, but I first wanted to start with an unboxing because what WattFun has done is not only delivered a great portable power station, but they've included all the accessories you'll need to charge it and use it out in the field. I think that's pretty incredible because the product is really reasonably priced, and normally, when a product is around this price range, you don't get the extras. You don't get extra cables to charge it in the car or off of a solar panel, but they've included everything in the kit. So when you first open up the box, you'll find the portable power station. And again, this is adorable. It's tiny. It's nine pounds. You could bring it anywhere with you. You'll also find a home charging kit, which basically has a brick that you'll plug into the wall. This converts the AC from your wall outlet to DC, which plugs into the front of the unit. And that's the fastest way to charge the product. You'll also find a car cord. You can use this in your car, plug it into your car outlet. The other end again has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in the front and you can charge it from your car. Fast, a little bit slower. And then finally, there's also a solar panel connection kit, which I find incredible because normally you don't find that with most of the kits on the market, but you could use this with a standard solar panel Connect this up to your solar panel. Again, a barrel connector plugs in the front, that's DC, and you can charge the unit from a solar panel. So again, fastest, a little bit slower, and even a little bit slower still, and it depends really on what type of solar panel you're using, how much sunlight it's actually catching, if it's facing the sun most of the day. But conversion-wise, I use this an awful lot out in the field because I spend a lot of time camping, and it's great to have a portable solar panel with me that I can set up, point at the sun, and just drink in that sunlight, and turn it into energy to recharge the unit. You'll also find a full instruction manual that lists everything you need to know about the product, how to charge it, how to take care of it. All the dials and indicators are in there so it explains exactly how to use the unit. You'll also find a card from Amazon if you want to give them some feedback. And then my favorite thing I think of all this is the pouch they include because these cables are important to bring along because if you're taking it out in the field, maybe you'll want to charge it from your car, maybe you've got a solar panel, or maybe you're at a campsite where you can actually plug in and use the home adapter. And they include a nice little pouch that keeps all these cables really organized. And again, the challenge is when you go out, if you've got the cables in your bag, maybe you forget one at home and then you can't recharge the unit. So I think they've done a great job of providing everything you're gonna to need to use this unit. All right, so specifications wise, the unit is 298 watt hours, which is right around that 300 watt range. Uh, it'll produce 320 watts of external energy, but it can also surge to 640 watts. And that's really important because a lot of the portable power stations on the market have really hard limits. So it's 300 watts and that's it. If you exceed that by plugging in a drill or a power saw or a blender or something that draws more current in a surge when it first spins up, you're gonna pop a breaker or it's gonna shut off. With this one, 320 watts is 640 watts, which means you can use a power drill with it, you can use a power saw with it, as long as you stay around that 300 watts as a steady state current, you're gonna be fine. I also love the fact that they provide a ton of external connections. So on the front, you've got two full-sized AC ports right here. These are standard three-prong ports, so you can plug pretty much anything you plug into an outlet at home into the front of the unit. You'll also find three USB ports across the front of it, and here's where it gets really clever. The three USB ports on there are two ports that are USB-A, which is the standard size, larger connector that you use with most USB chargers at home. The big difference though is both of these USB-A ports are quick charge or QC enabled. So if you've got some newer technology, whether you have a game console, a phone, a tablet that can use the QC standard, the minute you plug it into this unit, it immediately starts a handshake with that product to figure out what kind of current and voltage you can send to that product to safely and quickly charge it. So it'll negotiate that individually for each of those two ports, which means those products will charge a lot faster than a standard USB charger. A lot of other power stations on the market 
give you a standard 5 volt 2.4 amp outlet, which means you're going to charge it, but it's not going to charge really fast, and it certainly won't recognize the QC compatibility. This one not only has one, but it's got two of those, so anything you can charge at home with a QC charger, plug in here, you're going to get fast charging compatibility. You can also plug anything else that you would normally charge through a USB connection into either one of those ports, and it'll charge just fine. The other thing they built in was a USB-C connector in the middle. Now that's the latest standard for USB charging across the board. And the PD charging capabilities that come along with some of the USB ports is really important as well. So that USB-C port right there is not only USB-C, but it's also PD or power delivery, which is the second form of quick charging. So if you've got a product like a drone controller, some drone batteries, your laptop, anything that can take advantage of a PD charging port, you can plug it in there. And the same thing happens where that port will negotiate with the product, figure out what the battery level is and what voltage and current it can send to that product to quickly and safely charge it. It's a 60 watt port. Because the other thing is, just having a PD port doesn't mean you can charge big, thirsty devices like a laptop or drone batteries. It has to have a certain amount of current. This one provides 60 watts of output, which means it works pretty well with most laptops, most drone batteries, most large controllers for drones that are really thirsty and have to draw a lot of electrons out of the unit. So you've got a lot of versatility there in the USB ports. And then finally, there's a DC port over here. So there's three separate circuits. You have the AC circuit, the USB circuit, and then a DC circuit. With the DC circuit, you have a standard 12 volt outlet just like in your car that'll supply 12 volts at 10 amps the big thing is it's a regulated outlet a lot of the portable power stations on the market don't regulate the 12 volts when you plug something in if it draws a lot of current the voltage might drop a little bit and that can damage some of the chargers this is a 12 volt regulated output in addition to that they've got two 5521 ports above it which are those barrel connections and there are cables available that plug into a 5521 that convert it to a lot of other types of cables some USB-C some will be cables that'll plug directly into a unit to charge it off of a 5521. There are also conversion cables like this one that'll actually convert the 5521 port to a standard 12 volt outlet so you can plug it in here and you can actually triple the number of 12 volt DC outputs you've got. The big difference is this one that's built in is a 10 amp both of these are 4 amps, so you can't draw as much current out of them, but most of the car chargers you're going to use for your drones and other devices don't draw that much current anyway. The last thing I wanted to mention about the outlets is the AC outlets are a pure sine wave, and that's really important, and that's something you want to look for if you're comparing it to other portable power stations, because a lot of the portable power stations on the market use the inverter circuitry, which is what turns the DC from the batteries into AC that you can use externally. They use a modified sine wave, which is not as clean as a pure sine wave. And a lot of sensitive electronics externally require that pure sine wave. So with this unit, you're getting all these advanced features. You're getting two QC ports on the front that are full-size USB-A. You're getting a PD port for USB-C. You're getting regulated 12-volt DC output. You're also getting a pure sine wave on the AC. And then from the charging side of the house, the options are boundless. Again, I could charge it at home, charge it in my car, and charge it off the solar panels. If you're charging from solar panels, one consideration you want to have in mind is a circuit called an MPPT, which is sort of the electronics that regulates the voltage that's being produced by the solar panels as it's sent into the charging unit. Now, normally that can be done externally, but it requires the solar panels to have that MPPT circuit built in. With this one, the MPPT circuit's built in the unit, so you've got a regulated uh, solar panel charging capability inside the unit. So all those features really separate this from a lot of other portable power banks that are on the market, and I can't believe they built it into a unit this small, especially at this price point. So next, I'd like to take a closer look at the unit, and I'll point out again all the specifications for the different ports on the front. I also love the fact that they've got a beautiful little LED display up top here that tells you everything you need to know about the unit. When you turn that on, you'll immediately know how much energy is left in the unit, how much energy you're drawing out of the unit, how much you're sending to the unit when you're charging it. They've got a light in the top that you can turn on with three different uh, levels of light. I just turned it off. <laughs> Let's try it again. Nope. One more time. I'll get it yet, I promise. Are we on? We're not on. Turn it on, Rick. Come on. Quit fooling around here. <laughs> just give me one second here. Okay, it's on. There's the display. I just put my glasses on. It will make things so much easier. All right, so here comes the light. There's the first, there's the second, and there's the third. So you got three levels of light on the front, which is great. And you might think, big deal, I got my phone with me. But if you're camping and you just got to turn a light on to do something, you got it built into the portable power station. They've got ventilation on the side because when you're charging it through AC, it's going to get a little warm, so it'll cool it down by pulling air through the unit. I also love the fact, and again, what a name for a company, Watt Fun, right? Think about that. Watt fun. What fun you're going to have out in the field, plus you're delivering watts as energy, and it's fun, so you're having fun. But to carry that forward, 
it's got snowflakes over here for the vent cover. So, I mean, I love everything about this unit. It's adorable and it's just incredibly functional. So stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look and then I'll come back and try and remind you of a couple of things that really separate this one from a lot of other portable power stations on the market. The WattFun Portable Power Station provides three different styles of output, AC, USB, and DC. And each of these sections can be turned on individually by simply tapping the button above the section once the power has been turned on for the main unit. The AC portion is a pure sine wave output that includes a two-prong and a three-prong grounded outlet, and this can supply 320 watts and surge up to 640 watts to external devices. The USB portion includes two full-sized USB-A ports that are both quick charge compatible or QC compatible. So if you plug a device in here that has that QC capability, this port will auto negotiate the voltage and current to safely and quickly charge that device. The center port is a USB-C port that's also PD or power delivery capable. And again, that's a quick charging standard that if you have a device that charges through PD, you can plug it in here. The port will negotiate the best voltage and current to supply that energy needed to safely charge that device. This port is also a 60 watt port, which means you can plug larger devices in like drone batteries, controllers, laptops, game consoles. As long as they're under 60 watts, they'll charge just fine through the USB-C. The DC portion of it provides one full-size DC port, just like in your car. That'll supply 12 volts at 10 amps, and two 5521 ports above it. Each of these are 12 volts at 4 amps. So you can use conversion cables to convert these to another car port or to other cables that would convert them to plug a device in directly. The main power button is in the upper left-hand side. To turn the unit on, you'll hold this down for a few seconds. The unit will come to life. And then all of these output circuits are now ready to be used. And to turn these on, just tap the button and you can see the icons appear below it. There's also a light across the top that has three different stages. It's got low, medium, and high. And that's really convenient if you're outside and need a quick light. You'll also find the input connector right down here. And that's where you'll charge the unit through the included AC kit, car kit, or solar panel kit. And on the right hand side is a reset button behind this hole. If you need to reset the unit for any reason, you can push a paper clip in there gently and reset the unit. And that's pretty much it for the front unit. The display is really nice, it's bright. You can see the indicator here of how much energy is left in the unit. It also has a numerical value to tell that there's 99% of the charge left in the unit. And there are indicators over here on the right hand side that tell you exactly how much power is coming out of the unit and how much power is being put into the unit when you're charging it. So all the information you need to understand what's happening with the portable power station is shown on this display. And that display to conserve energy will blink out after 60 seconds to not draw energy from the batteries if you're not using it. To turn the unit off, you'll hold the power button down again for about five seconds. The display will go blank and the unit turns off. On the right hand side of the unit, you'll find ventilation slots cut into the outside case, and that's to allow air to pass through the unit to keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. On the left hand side, there are more ventilation slots cut in here, and again, I love the snowflake pattern. On the bottom, you'll find rubber feet that make it really easy to put it down on a surface and not scratch that surface. It also keeps it right where you put it so it doesn't slide around when you set it down on a, a rocky surface or an uneven surface. And finally, on the top of the unit, is a nice handle that allows you to transport it wherever you need it. It folds down nice and flat to give you this flat surface on the top where you can lay your tablet or your phone while you're charging them from the unit. I hope that overview is helpful. Now here are a few key things to keep in mind when you're comparing this particular WattFun portable power station to others you may be considering. The first thing is, it has to have a really decent charging cycle. With this unit, you've got three different ways to charge it. You can charge it at home through AC, you can charge it through DC in your car, or you can charge it from a solar panel, and they include all the cables and a pouch to keep the cables organized along with the kit. So that's a big bonus right there. As far as output goes, it's got 120 volts, pure sine wave output here for 300 watts. Again, it's 298 watt hours, but it can deliver 320 watts out of the AC outlets between the two of them, and they're three prong grounded, and they're pure sine wave. As far as USBs go, you have three USB connections on it, two USB-As that are also fast charging, quick charge ports. So if you've got modern equipment that can fast charge, plug them in there, you're gonna get a really rapid charge to that device very, very safely. In addition to that, you've got a USB-C port in the middle, which is a 60 watt, 
PD or power delivery port. That's really unique on a lot of these portable power stations. And if you want to charge a laptop, drone batteries, a game controller, anything that drinks a lot of electrons, that's the port to plug into. And that's really a big bonus. In addition to that, you've got a full-size 12-volt port over here that'll deliver 12 volts DC at 10 amps, and it's regulated, which is really important to compare when you're looking at other power stations. A lot of other ones don't regulate to 12 volts. And as I'd mentioned, that voltage drops, you can cause some damage to the charger you've plugged in there. In addition to that, 25521 port above it that'll allow you to plug in conversion cables like this to convert that port to a standard 12 volt outlet or even plug in cables that you can charge other devices directly from it. It's incredibly portable. It's nine pounds, 320 watts of external charging capabilities on the unit. It's got a beautiful display on the top. It's got a light on the top you can turn on if you're out there in the woods and need to see something in your tent. Everything you need is pretty much built into the product and they include all the accessories you need to use it right out of the box. So charge it up, take it out in the field and have a lot of fun with it because this company's named What Fun, and <laughs> what fun you're gonna have with this product. I just love that name. Anyway, that's all I had for today, so hopefully you found this review helpful. I love exploring new technology like this, so if you found this product interesting, and you wanna look at, into it a little bit further, I've got a link below where you can go to Amazon, you can check out the specifications, you can compare and contrast it to other products. Uh, if you buy from that link, we get a little credit from Amazon, so you'll be supporting the channel. And that's pretty much all I had today. So hopefully you found this review helpful. Thanks an awful lot for watching. And until next time, stay nerdy. Mm -hmm.